Now keep in mind, the granddad just told her the little girl didn't need a magazine. This little girl been terrorizing the doctor's office now almost 30 minutes, and the grandmother really ain't no better. She don't want the granddad or to say nothing to the child, and she's like a holy terror. But the grandmama teaching her to do so. You see, now she's throwing the magazine. That's why the granddaddy told her she didn't need it. And keep in mind, you hear that dog barking? That's her toy that's got everybody feeling some type of way in the office. Okay, y'all, we need to talk right quick. This is going to piss some people off. But it's one of them things you just going to have to say and just go on and get it over with. Stop making your kids be bad. It ain't your kids fault they bad. It's your fault that they're bad. And I'm going to tell you why it's your fault that they're bad. You sit around and you say, <laughs> yeah, they so bad. Why are they bad? <laughs> because you're telling them that they're bad. They do bad things and then you reward the bad behavior. Crying and acting a fool in the store because they want some. If you stop crying, um, here, here, you can just have it. No. If you crying and acting a fool in the store, you don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. You don't just stop crying. No, it's you was crying and acting a fool in the store. You not get nothing. That's how we was raised. That's why we act better than kids act now today. So anybody from the age of like 30, let's say 38 and up, act different from people below that age. Because somewhere along the lines, people just stop giving a F. So now it's act the food, get a reward. Be good and get cheesed at. No, stop it. I'm so tired of hearing it. People are like, oh, you so bad. And then your kid over there falling down on the floor and you talking about <laughs> Bitch, stop laughing. It's not funny. Your kid is a baby. It's not cute. The cutoff, the cutoff point for cuteness is three years old. If your kid is over three years old and they talking back to you, it, I'm, I'm telling you to your face right now. It's not cute. There, I said it. It ain't cute. I don't know who told you that it was. I don't know who lied to you, but I'm going to tell you the truth to your face right now. With your kid asking the doggone food after the age of three, it's not cute. And if you sitting up there laughing and cheesing about it, you look stupid as hell. There, I said it. It is what it is. If you don't want nobody saying it, I'm telling you what people saying behind your back. Because I'm going to tell you why you sitting up there cheesing your friends like this. When they walk off, they like... <laughs> Girl, we ain't going nowhere with her. Her kid's bad. They ain't going to say it to your face because they don't want to hurt your feelings. So that's why I'm trying to help you out right now and telling you, don't have your kids be bad. Do you hear me? Can you hear me now? When your kids is up in the doctor office running around being loud and not sitting down throwing their sippy cup. Kid up in Target, Walmart, Kmart, Best Buy, Sam's Club, Costco, hanging out the basket, standing up in the basket, hiding up in the clothes rack. Got the cart running through the store over there in the toy section opening up all the toys. It's not cute. If they falling out in the floor because they couldn't have a toy or a piece of candy, it's not cute. If they standing up in the basket talking about people that's walking by, it's not cute. It's all kind of little things that you think is cute that's not cute that's ugly as hell and you need to stop that shit. Correct your kids and stop laughing at the dumb shit that they do. If they sit up there cussing, it's not cute. If they talking to you like you grown, it's not cute. Shouldn't no kid be talking to you like, like they the parent? What's wrong with you? 
it ain't no, no way you gonna tell me that somewhere in your mind you thought that was okay that your kid was gonna dress you like they paying all the bills like they grown and they going to work working 12 hours a day shift and coming home paying all the bills and the car notes and buying all the groceries and you gonna sit there and let the kid talk to you like that tell you what to do no and what's wrong with y'all that got to have y'all kids permission to do stuff we, we didn't get options if it's time to eat, you tell them what they're going to eat and they're going to eat. You don't give them no options. Why y'all giving these kids all these options like they running things? They don't need options. For what? You tell them what babysitter they going to. You tell them what school they going to. You tell them what time you going to pick them up. You tell them who house they going to. Uh, run your own house. Your kids don't run any damn thing. Why your kids running everything? Why you out here trying to bust your ass and work, jumping through all these suits for a kid? No, you the parent. What's wrong with you? You don't, you did you forget that you was the parent? Uh uh. Your kid up in Target, Walmart, Kmart, Best Buy, Sam's Club, Costco, hanging out the basket, standing up in the basket, hiding up in the clothes rack. Got the cart running through the store over there in the toy section, opening up all the toys. It's not cute. If they falling out in the floor because they couldn't have a toy or a piece of candy, it's not cute. If they standing up in the basket talking about people that's walking by, it's not cute. It's all kind of little things that you think is cute that's not cute that's ugly as hell and you need to stop that shit. Correct your kids and stop laughing at the dumb shit that they do. If they sit up there cussing, it's not cute. If they talking to you like you grown, it's not cute. Shouldn't no kid be talking to you like, like they the parent? What's wrong with you? It ain't no, no way you gonna tell me that somewhere in your mind you thought that was okay that your kid was gonna dress you like they paying all the bills like they grown and they going to work working 12 hours a day shift and coming home paying all the bills and the car notes and buying all the groceries and you gonna sit there and let the kid talk to you like that tell you what to do? No! And what's wrong with y'all that got to have y'all kids permission to do stuff? We, we didn't get options. If it's time to eat, you tell them what they're going to eat and they're going to eat. You don't give them no options. Why y'all giving these kids all these options like they running things? They don't need options. For what? You tell them what babysitter they going to. You tell them what school they going to. You tell them what time you going to pick them up. You tell them who house they going to. Uh, run your own house. Your kids don't run any damn thing. Why your kids running everything? Why you out here trying to bust your ass and work, jumping through all these suits for a kid? No, you the parent. What's wrong with you? You don't, you did you forget that you was the parent? Uh uh. When your kid in a public place, they supposed to know how to sit down. They shouldn't be disturbing sick folk with a migraine up in the doctor. I was hooping and hollering, running through there. It's not cute. I don't want to see it. I don't care for it. And if your kid come over there in my face, come out. After they done kicked over the whole shelf of magazines, poured out all the coffee, stepped on the little old lady foot. You think the hell off in the step that cheese at your kid? I'm going to say. Because it's not cute. I don't have nothing to laugh at. I don't be friendly to bad ass kids. And you, because you used to know that condoning it and cheese. I'm so sick of this. Cut it out now. Because you, when they um in trouble at school. When they get in trouble at school, you the one down there at the school talking about all up in the principal office trying to cut up and act the damn nigga. No. You know your you know your kids bad because you you was running. Remember when they was two and three? You said <laughs> they bad. You wanted them to be bad. You encouraged the bad behavior. You raised them to be bad. So don't be down at the school now acting no fool, hooping and hollering, talking about you trying to pick on my kid. My kid didn't do it. You know them kids bad, helpful. You know they bad. You told them to be bad. When they was being bad, what did you do? Went out and bought them a toy, bought them some candy, bought them some McDonald's instead of making them uh, act right. You rewarded it. So get out and down there after school acting a doggone fool. That's what you can do for them. Because I'm going to tell you something. Ain't no reason why no kids should have no manners and no home doggone training. It ain't no reason why you should be able to carry your kid out in public and they not be acting fool. Ask my kids what happened if they acted a fool in the store. 
Did they get something? No, they didn't get nothing. I'm going to tell you what they did get. They got money from people because they said, y'all the only kids in the store ain't acting no fool. Here, y'all can have $5 because I don't know what y'all mama did, but y'all walking around in the store, y'all ain't touching nothing. Y'all being good. Y'all just talking to each other and, and laughing and talking to each other. Y'all ain't screaming and hollering. They knew not to. You didn't have to beat them. You didn't have to do nothing, but they knew they place. Because, like, when they was when they was growing up, like now, my granddaughter, nine months old, she already, she, and at that age, they started falling out. And what do we tell her? We look her in her face and we say, no, we do not behave like that. We don't laugh and giggle and be like, ooh, girl, you bad already. No. We stop her right there. We say, no. No. We do not behave like that. We make her sit up and we make her stop it. And being nine months old, it took us two days. And now she don't fall out no more. Because we corrected her right then and told her, look at here. We, as soon as she did it, we said, hey, no. And she said, like, what, you talking to me? And we said, yes, we're talking to you. You don't know. We do not act like that. We cut it off. And she don't do it. Two days. All, all we did was say one word, and the word was no. Start saying no to your kids as soon as possible. Because life ain't going to say yes to them all the time. Learn to say no to them. Talk to your kids. Raise these kids right. Stop letting these kids be babies. Even if she threw an attitude, my not, I, we did it with our kids. Now I'm doing it with my granddaughter. When she wants something to eat, and she we don't do all that falling out and all that stuff. At at six months old, if she wants a bite, what does she say? She can't say bite, but she gets close enough that we know what the word she's trying to say is. Because we said say bite. So her word, whatever the sound is she make, emulates bite, she gets a bite. If she wants a bottle, whatever word she mumbles in place of bottle, she gets a bottle. You talk to your kids. You don't have your kids falling out in the floor, walking around like cavemen, acting no doggone fool. I, I'm tired of seeing it. As parents, y'all need to do better. Start doing better. Stop condoning this bad behavior. We down to the doctor office. People, kids got to get a shot. They in the flow screaming and yelling. It's something called for. I had a daughter that's terrified of needles. I told her this right here. We all scared of needles. There are grown men scared of needles. But you're going to get this shot. You're going to sit there. You're going to act like somebody with some sense. And you're going to take this shot. The more big of a fool you're going to act, the more it's going to hurt. But if you act the fool and get this shot, you're going to be grounded the rest of the week. And that's what I told her. And she acted the fool the first time when she got that shot. And she was grounded all week. But when it was time to get that second shot, ask me, did she act the fool? She did not act the fool. She went, she cried. I don't care about crying. You can cry all day long, but all that falling out, it's not going to take no five people to hold you. No, we're not going to be up in here like we know, we, we know damn fools. We're not going to behave like that. She sit up on that table like a big girl. She put her face in my chest and she cried. She, she cried, but she sat still. She took that shot like a G. Then we went out to eat. She got her three gifts, not one. She got three gifts because she got re re she got rewarded for her good behavior because she cried. She knew it was going to hurt. She prayed in my chest, but she wasn't falling out and acting no fool. It didn't take no three people to hold her. I held one hand very gently and talked to her and kissed her forehead while the nurse gave her that shot. And we got the hell out of there. It don't take all that. Y'all stop condoning it and stop babying them. That's why they running around here tearing up stuff, shooting up stuff, acting a doggone fool down here on World Star doing stuff. So now I said it. If you don't like it, it's nothing I can do about it. But somebody has to say it. Because if you don't say it, then how do you know to start working on it and fixing it? So there I said it. I don't mean it in no bad way. I'm just trying to help you out. Because like I said, people around you not going to say it. They're going to go talk about you behind your back. As soon as you walk off, they're going to be, girl, did you see her kids? Girl, I don't know why she... I'm going to tell you to your face. People told me to my face. Because at one time, my kids was bad when they was little because they went to daycare all day. I worked. My my husband, my, he was then my boyfriend, but now my husband, he worked. And then we come home. We did their homework, their preschool homework, and we thought we was being good parents. It wasn't until I started being an at-home mom, we realized, oh, my goodness. 
these kids some holy terrors. And we had, I had to work on them. I had to get them trained, teach them how to act, teach them how to do, do just be real rounded children. So I'm telling you all of this so you can have some decent children. So don't be mad at me. Like I said, some people just need to hear it and you got to be told it. Because like I said, people saying what I'm saying, but they saying it behind your back. The only difference in what I'm saying is that I'm saying it to you.